Today we're going to give you a quick lesson on uh, how to do waves, okay? I have everything ready here. My paper's all wet. Uh, we'll just put up, um, quickly put in a little sky here. Remember, always start from the outside and work in. Uh, we're going to do this real quick so you can get the idea of um, how to make a wave. Let the uh, tilt, tilt your paper and let the uh, let the paint run one way. Then you can do it this way. See how nicely it flows. Now catch these little runs. It'll, it'll give you troubles. And I notice here this spot here that doesn't look so great. But we'll fix that. See it's filling in. If your paper's nice and wet, I usually wet it three times. Let it dry for a few minutes, three to five minutes, then give it another coat. Then it's nice and wet, and I use 300 pound arches. Best paper there is. Makes life easy. If you try to use other things, you're gonna have troubles, as I mentioned in some in my one other video. Okay, there we go. We're just gonna put in the, the sky like so. We're gonna leave that. I'll just tilt it a little more here. You see, that let it blend in. Now we're going to work on the waves, because that's what we really want you to learn how to do, okay? same color and don't worry about what paints I use I use Antwerp blue alizarin crimson and burnt sienna most of the time uh, I just find a alizarin or a Antwerp blue is such a great blue okay now we're gonna put in the waves here's some water remember work from the outside in and leave some whites and keep adding lots of paint lots of paint and you know in uh, waves you get the green when the uh, wave breaks you see that green in there well we'll we'll throw a little of that in there in a few minutes i have another brush due to time and we'll just chuck some of that in here give that nice green look in the wave when it breaks okay Hit a little more blue. So this is our wave. Now I use a palette knife. I have a special one. See this little jobby? It's a regular palette knife, but I filed it down. So I have a nice rounded edge, and that's good for, well, you'll see. Watch this. Here's how you make the wave breaking. You push down and put it on angle and squeeze. And you see how the wave breaks when you do that? You want the wave to be rolling and breaking. This one here a little bit. This one here a little bit. Get the idea? Now, if it's really wet, you see how it fills back in? So we can go over it again, squeeze a little harder, and down a little lower, so we get that roll. There we go. Now, it's nice to have your hair dryer handy. I put on the color pretty strong because when it dries, it dries back a lot lighter. Now you can also dab with your Kleenex. It's probably a little... See? Dab that and you get the whites. It's nice to have whites in your wave. Your water, the, the foam breaking. And don't go back over the same thing with the Kleenex twice. It'll, it'll give you an awful smear. Okay, let's see if we can get any more white out of here. It's uh, Now there's a way to cheat. I'll show you that too. Now we'll add a little more dark so that underneath the wave, it's always darker underneath where you don't see the light. Add a little smaller waves here. Oh yeah, got a, got a message. I should have turned my phone off. Just hang on a second, I'll let that dry.
take care of that. That's my bookkeeper. She's my sister-in-law. This is a Sunday. I'll call her back. See, now you make it dark, and you see how that makes it stand out, and you know, put in some little wigglies. You know how the waves go. Just like so. Now I'll take that and dryer. And we'll take our palette knife, do uh, some more little highlights here. You know, the waves, uh, everything is not just perfect in water. You know how it goes. If you don't, go down and watch the water. Go watch the waves. There we go. That looks better. We'll dry it. When you pull your tape off, make sure you pull it away from the painting. People have wrecked their painting by pulling it in. Here's the... Here's the uh, sometimes it sticks to the paper and tears it, and then you've lost your painting. There we go. Now we'll just throw a mat around it. Now this is not a lead, lot of detail. I just wanted you to get the idea. There she is again. Wouldn't that get you? So there we go. How do you like that? Okay simple, isn't it? Right? Thank you.